Hey guys, my name is Ryan from Electronics Review Daily, and today we're going to do a teardown of the 80 gig Western Digital Caviar hard drive. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so here we have our 80 gig hard drive, and then I have this screwdriver here that has a T8 bit on the end. So we're going to use that to undo these screws on the corners. So let's get started. And this hard drive was actually pulled from a, uh, an old Xbox, the original Xbox. So that's pretty cool. And it should be the last two. Although sometimes they have a screw hidden underneath this label. So we'll see uh, if it comes up when we pry it. And we'll go from there. Alright, so now I'm going to get a flathead attachment for this. So I'll get that real quick. In fact, I have a flathead screwdriver. Let me use that. It'll probably work better. There we go. That's just a standard flathead screwdriver. Pretty, uh, it's a small one. Um, so we're just going to pry along the sides here. See if you can see. It's pretty loose. I think there there must be a screw underneath here because it seems to be stuck. So let me see if I can feel a into tape. Oh, right there. So let me get my other screwdriver and kind of poke a hole because there's definitely definitely something there. Let's see. Ah, there we go. There you go. Okay, so let's undo that. And then we should be able to take off this cover. Perfect. And it's pretty, it's like a mirror. It's, it's amazing how that is. Oh, wow. Okay. And something just fell. I wonder what that is. Huh. Okay. Um, well, I'm not, I don't really know about hard drives all that much. Um, I know this is a head, this part that spins, the part that moves here, excuse me, this part. And then this spins. And this is a, actually one of the most powerful magnets, powerful earth magnet, man-made magnets, sorry. Um, but actually, this is a pretty simple hard drive. It only has one um, platter, I believe this is called. This is called a platter. And wow, it's pretty cool. Um, so let's, let's keep doing this tear down here. Let's see. Can we move that off to the side? Um, hmm. Let's try. I'm not quite sure how to take this off. Let me try taking this magnet off. It seems the head is stuck under that magnet. So let's try that. Hmm. No? It doesn't seem what's like a, it looks like it's screwed in from the bottom underneath this magnet. I'm not if you can sure if you can really see. Underneath it's screwed in, so I'm not sure how I would get that out. Let's, let's take off this side and see see what where we get from there. Let's see. Maybe we'll have access to some of those screws. right out. Okay, that's kind of cool. Got some foam. And I guess this is just the main board for the hard drive, it looks like. It's pretty cool. Got the connectors. Cool. Set that to the side. And then let's see. There's something here. Uh, looks like this comes up. Let me see if I can let's see. Pry it up a little bit. Just plain 
ticker or something. I'm not quite sure what that's here for. There we go. Okay, it uh well, it's just a opening to the other side of the the platter there. That's that's interesting. Okay. Well, not what I expected on this side. Um, I thought we'd have a, a place to unscrew, you know, something, but that's okay. We'll go back to the other side. I did notice this is, I mean, this is solid metal. I'm not quite sure what kind of metal it's made of, but, I mean, this will withstand a, a drop for sure. All right, so, um, try to figure out how to get this magnet off. Let me, hmm, let's try and do in this yellow piece here. I'm not sure if you can really see it. You see the edge right there. Let's try and doing that. See if that gets us anywhere, which honestly I don't think it will. No. No. Okay. Um. Hmm. Because I'm not sure how this would come up, honestly. And what? Huh. Wait a second. Wow, I see. <laughs> so this isn't screwed in, and that's, I feel really stupid now. This actually wasn't screwed into at the bottom. That's the other magnet. So basically how our hard drive works is, well, at least what I think so. There's a magnet down there, and then this is the other magnet. So I guess there's some kind of electromagnetic force that makes this read and write, which is really cool. That's awesome. I didn't. I didn't know that. So now we should be able to pry that head up. Let's see. That's that's a strong magnet. Wow. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure this is mounted some way, but I don't see any screw holes or anything. So I'm not. I don't know how it would be mounted. Um, hmm. Well, let's take off this platter first and then we'll, we'll go from there. And these just spin. Actually, this is the wrong bit. Let me get the smaller bit. That's a T8. We'll keep that to the side. Um, let's try. Let's see what kind. It means a smaller one than that. What was a. Uh, one of those star ones. I forgot the name. And that's, hmm, that's too small. That's weird. Let's see, let's try this again, maybe I didn't, no? Huh, um, I mean, I have a lot of bits here, so I guess we could try them all. Try this, there we go. This is a, a T6, so two down from that T8. Let's get started. There we go. And I mean, there's a lot of fingerprints on it now, but when I first opened it up, you could see that they were, it was perfectly clean. Um, and I believe these are manufacturing facilities where they have the, uh, you got special gloves, you know, all that. Make sure nothing gets in these drives because they're they're definitely valuable. You know, there's people's data on them, so you don't want to don't want that getting ruined. But now everybody's switching to uh, SSD solid state drives, so it's getting uh, it's definitely the world's changing for sure. And I think uh, these are stripped. That's not good. Alright, sorry about the interruption there. I had to switch to a uh, T7 bit to loosen these up because they got stripped. So, but this I have back the original uh, T6 on here, so should be good now. And our last screw. Let's take off this top part. I like how these are made. It's quality for sure. Now, not quite. 
quite sure how to get this out with that. Well, okay. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, wow. This is, uh, <laughs> as you can see, the difference from that side with the, uh, the fingerprints and this side, which is it's, it's like a mirror. That's really nice. Alright, so we'll set that to the side. I want to figure out how this head comes out. I'm trying to see. I don't know where it would. Hmm. Let's try taking this this magnet out and see what happens. And that's our T8. So let's switch to that. Not sure if it's going to come out like this, but worth a shot. Sorry about the camera angle there. Alright, let's get our flathead screwdriver and see. No, oh, it's still. The head's still stuck under there somehow. Hmm. Let me see if I get the magnet up, though. I should be able to. No, maybe not. Okay. Um. Let me, huh, let me stop the video real quick and just look at it and see if I'm missing something. Alright, so it turns out I was missing something and that was uh, common sense. I, uh, all you have to do is pull it up. Well, pull it straight out. That was, uh, <laughs> that was simple. Alright, so we have this mag, whoop, see how strong that magnet is. We have this magnet here and we'll put that over here with the other ones. And then we'll just unscrew the rest of the uh, the cable for the head. One, two. All right, just shake it out there. And now we have the part. This is the part that spins the metal. So let's see uh, how to get that out. Let's, uh, let's just undo these screws and see what happens. And this part doesn't spin on the outside, just this middle part does. Just if you're wondering. One, two, and then we have our last one. And we need to get those, get those out. Can't talk today. Alright, and that, perfect, that's pretty cool. And it just pries open, just like that. And then this on the bottom, this on the bottom, this part connects to the board right here, I believe, like that. And that would make sense. Okay, cool. So now we have basically just a piece of bare metal. Um, this is it's actually, it's lighter, but it's definitely heavy. I mean, they built it to to last, that's for sure. So let me just show you all the parts that we uh, took out right now, uh, today. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah. All the parts we took out today. There we go. And the screwdrivers and and everything we used. Now these magnets are actually super powerful. Let me see if I can give a demonstration real quick here. Um, let me try, I guess, with the screwdriver. It just, I mean, this is probably, let's see, let's try this one. I believe it does the same thing. Alright, I'm just messing around at this point. But, um, that's how you take apart a regular desktop hard drive. Um, now the ones higher up in the uh, capacity, and the standard ones today, have more than one uh, platter. They're usually, I've seen three. On the, I think it's pretty standard. Um, so what I'll do next is I'll actually going to do a video on a laptop hard drive teardown and I'll show you that real quick. That's the laptop. We're going to tear that down and I'll uh, post that one as well. So uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Thanks guys.